I now try to launch the drone here on Kapuzinerberg, a mountain in the city, kind of in the city center of Salzburg. And I, I didn't really do my research on the like regulations and stuff. The Mavic Mini is now famous because it only has 249 grams. With 249 grams you do not have to register your drone. <clears throat> but what I just realized now when trying to start it, when trying to start it on in the countryside it was not a problem. Here in the city when you look on the map there is a blue area and it seems like the blue area is restricted. I started the drone for the first time in my apartment, just started and landed it and one time crashed it into the wall. In the apartment it worked, I don't know why, because I live right in the center of Salzburg, here on the mountain, outside I came to the mountain because there is nothing around, nothing can happen up here, but you cannot fly, you cannot actually fly the drone anywhere you want. I don't know about other countries, but I guess that's what they call geofencing, that in restricted areas you can't just not launch it. Um, yeah. I will move out of the move out of the blue zone now. It seems like there are some areas further up on Kapuzina Berg um, that are not part of the blue zone. And once I'm there I will start I will try to start the drone again and see if it works up there. So here we are a little bit further. Let's see if we are now in um, now out of the blue zone. Starting the Mavic Mini is really easy. I really like it. You just take out your controller, plug it to the phone. The app starts automatically. You push the button once, and then you keep it pressed and it turns on, now it turned off because it was already on. So push it once and then hold it on. Same with the drone. With the drone we first have to open the arms. The, the ones with the thing, the top ones first. Otherwise you can't open the rest and then like this. And same here, press it once and hold it. There's some adjustments and then it takes a moment to check the location again when the location is checked we get notified if we are now in the correct spot and we're not we have to go keep going further up the mountain same when you turn it off you press the button and then you hold it and off it is. Lower ones first and top ones next. Let's keep going. So now we are almost at the end of the mountain. This here is one of my favorite photography or my favorite photography spot on Kapuzinerberg. This is where this is where this picture was taken and we're now gonna try again to fly the drone here in Salzburg. If it doesn't work here, there are not many more places we could go. We would go all the way up to the mountain, but I'm not sure if that would make any difference. Let's see what happens. So again, we go into the, into the app. The remote is connected to the phone and it's turned on. Here is the drone. Again, opening it top one first, top, top, bottom, bottom, press it once and hold it. Okay, and now let's see, connect it. Searching for, searching for device. Start is preparing. 
Uh -huh. We can start now. We are out of the blue zone. If you look at the, if you look at the map, I don't know yet what the yellow zone means, but we are just out of the blue out of the blue zone. So I will put the drone here. I want it to face the, the fortress and let's let's start. Don't forget to press the record button. That's what happened to me with the first very first flight. I didn't press the record button, so the drone was flying but not recording. So excited every every time this launches. Oh <laughs> so geofencing is an issue. If um, if you live in the city, I guess you should do better research than I did if you want to film the city. This is my favorite place to take the sunsets when the sun is setting over there and down here there are streets. So down here you can do um, the like the light trails from the cars. Um, I'm mainly taking pictures and videos of Salzburg uh, and that's why it's a pity that it's not allowed to fly the drone in the city center. So I guess that's what geofencing means. And yeah, it's only my second flight, so I will find out what geofencing really means for me and flying here in Salzburg. I'm still pretty nervous flying the drone. I bought the uh, insurance, the uh, um, care refresh, but still when the, when the drone launches and you know if it falls down for some reason it's gone forever and the care refresh would not help because for the care refresh you have to return the drone to DTI otherwise it's not it's not working so yeah I will fly some more until the battery is empty I just saw the battery is on like 50% after only having the drone powered on for uh, like for a while, maybe 15-20 minutes, it wasn't probably because the camera is active once the drone is powered on. It wasn't actually... Oh, and the camera is still filming. Um, the drone, it wasn't actually flying because until now it wasn't allowed to fly. But now we're out of geofencing, so if you look at, if you look at that, it seems like the whole city it seems like the whole city of Salzburg it's actually around the airport it's because we're so close to the airport but yeah that includes all of the city of Salzburg so yeah thank you for watching and I will now empty the battery see what I can do up here